basically, you, right now it's it's interfacing with the Trimble Fab Shop. Yep. And so it's it's running off the Vicon software. Or, All right. Or, so to import, like from Trimble, mm -hmm. I can go File, mm -hmm. Import, CNC, and then you pick which one. The Trimble is the top on the 6XP. Oh, okay. Say, all right, it says you wish to import liner and store metal. And say, yes, liner. Look at basically, you just don't cut sheet. But now I don't want to cut that one. Does it run a, a lot like your um, um plasma? The, well, the plasma or the liner cutting table? The, yeah, exactly. The router bit? Same. Okay. Exactly the same. The yeah, only difference is the this this right here. What is this? This is the intensifier. This is what compresses the makes all the pressure in the water. Okay. Because that water is coming out pretty pretty strong, right? <laughs> yeah. And what are you doing? Turning this on. Okay. Pump on. Wait for it to build correctly. On the router bit style, the automatic downside is for the uh, metal. Is it doing right. this the same? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's a hand fire button if you look at the. Yeah. Whenever I turn yeah. it on, I always do a little hand fire. Uh, be sure. How fast is that water? How far is that water coming out? That is at 20,000 psi. And it's a, a velocity of 3,000 feet per second or something. Really? If they didn't have this chiller, what is, what is that again? A chiller? That's a chiller. It keeps the hydraulic oil cool. You could run, you know, if it's, if it's not super hot, you can run these for hours without a chiller. Okay. And, and some people don't even use a chiller. They just put the garden hose to the cooling in. But they would lose a lot of water. water. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this, well, this, this is a recirculating chiller. Recirculates, system. okay. Right. It's, it's so the, it's going to pay it's for itself. It's tank in here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Plus, you're not wasting a bunch of water. Yeah, exactly. Water is a precious thing. <laughs> exactly. Environmentally yeah. friendly. Yep. Um, what are the, what is the table surface? What is that? That's a jet brick, they call it, water jet brick. The four inches thick. Oh. Six inches wide, four inches thick. It's just a hard plastic. And it does cut it. It's, a, it's considered a consumable like the slats on a plasma piece. So they, how often do you think they Probably do? a year or more. Okay. Yeah, they, they, you can, once they get a little jagged, yeah, you can push them over. You got a nice cool edge again. And so the water yep. is just coming through, right through the there. Okay. back from the pump through the clock springs and out. What's the maintenance that they, that they will need to be doing? Well, there's on off out seals. That's the most common thing, that the most frequent thing they gotta do. It's just it's when you think about it, it could be there's you know, twenty thousand to thirty up to sixty thousand PSI. Mm -hmm. Seals, you know, it, it wears seals, and it goes by certain numbers of hours. Um, now, but because we're running at one third of its capacity, it lasts a lot longer than normal. You know, because if you're running at full pressure, the seals don't last as long. Yeah. When would you even? When would you operate at full pressure? For liner, never. What else would it cut? Well, this could cut different material. This same pump could be set up with a an aggregate to cut metal, stone, uh, all that. Yeah. So, but whether you have 20,000 PSI is going to cut the liner. Oh, the last yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What about, uh, what would they change it down to for a, a rotary liner? No, they leave it all the same. Oh, okay, so it cuts at the same speed? Yep. Okay. Yep. Or the same pressure? Same pressure, yep. yeah. Mostly the same speed, too. So that means these things, the seals will not be, need to be replaced as 
frequent. It's frequent. That's right. That's yeah. right. Maybe a third of the time. Because there's a in the manual for the the hyperthrum. There's a, a list. Every certain number of hours, you should replace this. Okay. Or, yeah. but no, we tell them. Look, if it starts dripping. That's when you change it. You know, when the seal doesn't close it all the way. Okay. It'll just start dripping over the head. Yeah. That means that seal's bad. Okay. On here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't step on it. Yeah, I'm trying not to. But... <laughs> if I want to move the torch to there, oh, I hit okay. the letter J or the F6 there says jog the cursor. Yeah. That means move the torch to wherever the mouse is. Okay. So if I can hear it, I'll say here. It just needs to make her get on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good eye. You got a calibrated eye. Huh? Well, I've been cutting insulation so long. <laughs> All by hand. Right, right. I'm just gonna start back in the park and then we just start. Alright, here we go. Yeah, after that hit job, you can go right to whatever length it has to be at. What's the speed of it? What's the speed? 990 inches a minute. 990 inches a minute. It never really gets up to that, you know, but it's, it's trying to ramp up to that. Now, if you had a big, long piece of cutting, it gets up. It's increasing speed as it's going. Can you, can you get an additional table? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you make it in 5 by 20 Oh, yeah. Lots of them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.